please allow me to share with you something both beautiful and mysterious. <laughs> Greetings and welcome back to another mysterious episode of the podcast. I'm your host as always. Jason Oliveira. With us today is a bunch of mysterious flavors all contained within a beverage. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, Jay, you already did that. See, there it is right there. That's right. I did do this, and I thought it tasted like a strawberry kiwi was my best guess. But I thought today if we mixed it in with everything else, maybe we'll you know delve a little deeper and see if we can find out exactly what this Gatorade 2023 fall mystery flavor is. We got a lot to get to today, so I'm going to get right into it. We're going to start on, uh, no, let's start here. I want to start with this Coke, the Y3000. What the hell is Y3000? They keep naming all their sodas like marshmallow this or something like this, but it never tastes anything like what it's called. I don't even know what a Y3000 tastes like or what it might be. Can I acquire one on Amazon? Probably not, but let's bust into it and see what we think about it. Also, if you guys want to check out my last Coca-Cola review, you can click on the link right up there. There it is for you, just for you. Hmm. Smells very, like, mellow. Like, usually Coke is bright and sharp. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like that. Oh, ooh, there's something going on. Oh, uh uh-oh. Hang on. It's an evolving flavor. When it comes in, it just tastes like Coke. But after it starts moving around in your mouth, it starts to sweeten up and give you almost this impression of, like, a... It's not like a cotton candy, but it's something sweet along those lines. Maybe some kind of candy like that. Uh, Pretty good, though. I dig it. Not bad, Coke. You're doing good with your nice new flavors. I haven't looked into any of this either, by the way, so I have no hints or clues as to what any of these should taste like or what other people are saying they taste like. I I just got to try this one more time, though. There's something here, and I just can't put my finger on it, or my taste buds, for that matter. Nope. No clue whatsoever. Sweet as the Dickens, though. Tasty. Um, If you had a gun to my head, I guess I have to say cotton candy, but I feel like that's something they may have done before. But this is the closest thing I could imagine to Coca-Cola mixing a liquid cotton candy in with their original formula. Okay, Fanta. Fanta, Fanta, don't you wanna, don't you wanna, Fanta, Fanta. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Not as carbonated as the Coca-Cola. Also, this is a zero sugar one. I would have gotten a regular one, but I don't think they're doing it in a regular one. So we'll try the zero sugar. Not a big fan of alternative sugars. Not a big fan of sugar either. Sorry. Why won't you die? I must be on a cotton candy kick. I would have to say, if you've ever had one before, the cotton candy grapes kind of tastes like that. It tastes like grape soda and cotton candy. Yeah, is this a theme that's going on this fall? Is cotton candy the new flavor? I know Oreo brought them back. If you want to check out that video, there it is in the cards. I hate the fake sugar. I hate it with a passion. It's awful. I don't care if you tell me Dr. Pepper tastes just like Dr. Pepper. You're a liar. It's awful. It's terrible. All these fake aspartames and all these extra sugars that they're creating in a lab somewhere are gross. Yes, they're doing a great job of like replacing that sugar or the sugar we want, that craving, but it's not, A, it's not good for you, most likely, and B, it just, it, there's something wrong with it. There's after you're done swallowing, it's like, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Cotton candy, cotton candy grape. I'm going to go into the old Gatorade mystery flavor again. I just want to taste it and see if I can get anything else out of it now that I've got these weird flavors going on in my mouth. Here we go. Maybe a strawberry watermelon, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Strawberry watermelon, kiwi, maybe. It's it's definitely a combination of those fruits. I can't think that this would be anything other than that. I got to score these. I'll score them at the end. I think I gave that a seven in the video, and I, I think I'm going to stand by that. All right, last but not least, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, you got to slow down, man. It, it, there's too many flavors. There's so many Mountain Dew flavors that when I go to the store, I don't even know what I've tried and what I haven't tried. And that's why I gave up on Mountain Dew. I am no longer reviewing Mountain Dews unless it's a mystery fra- that flavor. Because the thing is, I don't like the intake of sugar anyway. I'm trying to keep that out of my life. I'm only doing this here today for you guys. Because I love you guys so much. And if no one has told you today that they love you, The podcast loves you very much just the way you are. All right, Coca-Cola. No, not Coca-Cola. Mountain Dew. Here we go. A little puff. It was like a little puff. Uh, My favorite Mountain Dew, if you care to know, is Code Red and Pitch Black. Pitch Black, probably a little bit more because it's soury. It's got that grape sour, sour grape. Uh, The other one, Code Red is good, but I don't 
drinks out at all. It's just, it's too much for me these days. I drink water. You should drink water. It's good for you. Keep you healthy, fit, alive, and young. Let's try the Mountain Dew Mystery Voodoo flavor for 2023 and see if we can figure out what it tastes like. While you were sleeping. Mm. Oh. You know, that's one thing I do have to say. When Mountain Dew puts out a flavor, nine out of ten times, it's unique. It's really different. It's strange. Whatever they're doing, is, is they're doing a good job on. Let me try one more sip. Huh. I know this is going to sound weird, but I, I'm detecting almost like a caramel apple. Caramel apple Mountain Dew. You wouldn't think that would go together, but they've also done the Fruit Quake one. They've done a lot of different ones that you wouldn't think. If you want to check out the Fruit Quake ones... There you go. It's in the cards. I'm going to say caramel apple. So if I had to guess, I'd say this is probably a kiwi strawberry watermelon combination. I don't know what combination of those three flavors, but there's definitely some kind of strawberry going on here. Cotton candy Coca-Cola. Can't go wrong. Coke is really good. I really enjoy Coke. You ever see what it does to metal? Go ahead. Grab a bottle of Coke, fill up a glass jar, throw some pennies in there. Leave it about a week. Dump those pennies out and then take a look at them. That's doing that to your insides, man. I care about you guys. I want you to stay healthy so you can watch the podcast for the next 40 years. Think I got 40 years left? That's a funny thing. At some point in your life, you have less time to live than you've already lived. Isn't that, 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 there you go. Yeah, sit with that for a minute. And the good dude said unto thee, give them beverages of sweetness so that they might delight. And those companies have. So let's score these. Yes, this is still a seven. Mm, Things are getting funky around here. Okay, if this was real sugar... I would have given this a nine, but because it's not real sugar and it adds that little grossness at the end there, I'm going to give it, I'm still going to give it an eight. This is a real cool flavor. I dig this a lot. It's different. Put it out with sugar. I'd like to try it that way and review it again. Who knows? You might get a 10 Fanta. (sighs) Lastly, this Mountain Dew is really good. There's uh, just something different about it. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a 10. If you're a soda drinker, if you're a Mountain Dew drinker, you enjoy uh, the Mountain Dew. If you like doing the Dew, then go ahead and do the Dew this year. It's definitely worth it, I would have to say. The Gatorade, you know, I just, I don't really enjoy Gatorade anymore. I transitioned from soda to Gatorade to water when I was quitting uh, drinking (laughs) sugary beverages. The thing is that there's still just about as much sugar in here. It's just not carbonation. I miss the carbonation a lot, but not as much as I did when I first started. It's not that hard. Sure, it's a struggle at first. If you're used to just getting up in the morning, having a coffee, or getting up in the morning, drinking soda, orange juice, anything else throughout the day, that transition to water can be very difficult. But I tell you, it is the most rewarding thing I have ever done in my entire life as far as my health goes. So just a little tip. Don't listen to me. I'm not on a soapbox. I'm just making suggestions. If you feel unhealthy, if you feel overweight, and you're trying to find a way to get down, one step to take is just switch over to water. Stop drinking all these Coca-Cola. Fanta, Gatorade, Mountain Dew, I'm sorry if you disagree with me here, but for me, it's more important for me to share the truth and the love than it is to, you know, garner your attention. So that's what I have to say here today. There's my little message for the day. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of the podcast. And if you guys are loving the content I'm creating as much as I love creating the content that you guys are watching, hang on. I get handsy, and I don't want to knock them over. Please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon because it lets you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today, tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier and a little bit wackier. Ooh, 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 together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and the rain is one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However... Never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. Yeah, there it is again. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another and take care of those around you who cannot take care of themselves for they are the ones that need it the most. And if no one has told you today that they love you, the vodcast loves you very much just the way you are. All right, guys, do no harm. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is the vodcast, and I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Take care, everybody. Don't go to sleep with a catch it in your pocket. <laughs>